The idea that we need to protect this planet itself is a convoluted idea because it is not because of us that the planet is there, it is because of the planet we are there. Even to think me and the planet is a completely wrong notion because what you call as myself, the physical presence of who you are is just an outcrop of this planet. Whatever you experience as a part of yourself, with that nobody has to tell you, please take care of this, anyway you will take care of it. The planet is for all of us and we cannot exist here by ourselves. Our existence here is not because of our economic activity. Right now we are made to believe it is because of the percentages of growth that's happening in this country you will live well. No, we will live well here if everything is green, beautiful, water is flowing, air is pure, we will live well here. This idea has to go into every human being's mind, into every citizen's mind, into every child's mind. You must always be conscious of the life other than human life. Most people are not even conscious of the human beings, so I'm reminding you, you must be conscious of everything that is alive, a tree, a plant, a blade of grass, a grasshopper hopping, you must be alive to everything. Constantly the air around us is entering us and coming out of us and this is the basis of our life. What you exhale, the trees are inhaling. What the trees exhale, you are inhaling. There's a constant transaction going on. If we stop this process of breath for one minute, we understand that without transacting with the air around us, we cannot live for a moment. Similarly, on the level of water and on the level of earth, this transaction is going on. So how we keep the atmospheres around us, the water bodies around us, will determine the nature and the quality of our life.